I guess, I mean, the question is, like, really what defines being a woman for you right now? Once again, I was like pushed into being a There's woman. A good feeling to that, to, to becoming a wife. Why it happened this way? How did it become such a devastating event? And mean, now be separated. From Why does that make me feel like I'm less than? <laughs> Two minutes. You go make home to your mom after that. Um, but that's that's. That, that's real like if you don't get married outside of your menses like what are the things that make you feel like a woman and I guess that that's one of them and babies are one of them because a lot of people you know we got the populated being Mary Jane and baby all that fever. you know and baby her wanting a baby because how old I don't know how old her character is maybe 35 40 ish mm -hmm. but you know her free wanting to freeze her embryos and then wanting to have a surrogate and all these other you know she went through those emotions uh being Mary Jane it's a BT show oh okay we love you. <laughs> I don't I look. Do, you, do I look like a ghost? Am I brightening everything right now? <laughs> but it's like really like it's a, it's a, the struggle is real because I mean even my mom she's single um, right now and she's hitting a age that middle age range and she wants to be married and you know at one time I know my mom she'll even talk about it that she wanted to have a son but right now that's something she kind of like does not having a son that's another question. Does that make you feel less of a woman? Because even in some cultures and things like that, if you don't oh, have no son, you just have yeah. all girl children. Like I have all girl children. You're not as desirable as a woman. Uh, like you can't yeah, they're back in the day. If you couldn't son. give a boy, right. mm -hmm. oh, wow. even though the man is the person that really determines yeah. the sex of the child. Wow, that's that's funny. And and so even too, again, if you if that isn't in the picture, if that's something you don't want, if you don't want to be married, if you don't want to have children, what are the things that make you feel like a woman? But so those are things that I do want. But even on this journey, I do feel um, I feel very womanly when I'm when I'm taking care of business in a mm -hmm. sense. So when I'm on my stuff and you're never on your stuff all day every day you will have those days when you want to go wrapping a blanket and rock because you <laughs> <laughs> tears come down your face because you missed something or whatever um but like 75 percent of the time <laughs> listen listen um and so and also when you can take care of things that you normally wouldn't take care of um whether it's something technical i remember one time like i pushed a car it was me and two other women and it was snowing it was, nice. there were no men or, it was just nothing we could do and we pushed the car <laughs> and we pushed the car and i just felt very i don't know why i just felt very womanly in that in that moment like i can take care i can do right. this i can i can do this but the idea was like i can do this on my own outside of a man and i don't know if that's necessarily where i want my mind to go if you're really if you expect to be in a marriage because you're supposed to come become one if that's how you view marriage. But you got to be your own self first, though. You I'm very independent. I yeah. am very, I have a very difficult time letting my husband take care of me. Mm -hmm. And it, I wouldn't say that it causes tension between us. It causes just more inner tension with me. So you don't necessarily, you can still be independent, I think, and still be in a marriage and mm -hmm. still have your own things, have your own jobs and stuff. That's why they make daycare. You need to have <laughs> that though, because if you I don't think have, so. if you don't have that in a marriage, you're gonna dry yourself. You're gonna be feel lost. Yeah, like if, if if you work or don't work, as long you gotta find you're happy too, because like that's how I have literally in my group of friends. It is probably two of us couples who got married around our time that are actually still married. And the one common thread, I, please don't be mad at me, y'all. But the one common thread in a lot of my friends who've gotten divorced is that the time that they would normally spend with each other and be together was limited. And then the time they were spending with themselves on stuff that they like was limited. And so they were losing themselves in a relationship. So when in a sense that you need both. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you need both to grow together and both to grow not grow separately, but you need to grow. Kinda right. like I don't know what grow separately. So how many grow years together. have you been married? We have been together for eight years and okay. then we've been married for seven. And we actually I was we got engaged, I got pregnant, and then we got married. So that's why when we you were, were saying, looking I had already <laughs> picked out this ring, we were almost there and it was like Oh, guess what? Let's do something first. That's why you shouldn't listen to other people. Like you said, <laughs> like we wanted to get married like within six months of us meeting. And everyone was like, you're too young and you need to finish school and all this other stuff. We were 18 when we met and he wanted to propose to me when we were 18. And I was just like, 
let's break up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Came back together and it was like, let's do everything now. It was, yeah. it, it was quite fast, but it worked out. We've been together. We just celebrated our 15th anniversary. Oh, so. wait, wow. I had no picture of 15. Wow. I thought you were a little bit. Because I like 15, so. <laughs> like 15 years, you got me. I was We've been something. together 17, married 15. So. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> How long have you been? Are you a newlywed? Yeah, well, relatively. It'll be three years in February. Yeah. So it's like, it's like three, seven, fifteen. Let's see, that's good. So, Cameo, you got a, a P. Listen, <laughs> three, <laughs> three. <laughs> You've got at least like two or three years, so we're good. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm just, I'm Y'all need to check for my friend Cameo, okay? Because <laughs> she a good one and she got great things going for her. And she cute, too. You <laughs> see how hot she is? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think these are all the things that encompass what it means to be a woman and the things that really come across our mind when we think about how do we define ourselves and where, when are we at peace, really, with where we are in life. And that changes depending on literally where you are, whether you're single, whether you're a mother, whether um, you don't want to be a mother, even though you are a mother at any given time. Um, it so, never happens. Listen, never. I, this, this funny story, this one, this one uh, a friend of mine, she had a kid and it was just, it was just, it was just a lot for her at one point. She's like, I wish I could just push her back in. <laughs> I threatened to do that.